and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For those who are new here, my name is Anais and usually I make YouTube videos around a challenge called 100 Days of Kubernetes, where we aim to learn something new related to Kubernetes of course 100 days. So in addition to my usual tutorial and review videos, I want to start a short series, <laughs> a series of short videos where I basically answer one question, one simple question. Um, that I get asked in my Twitter comments, in my Twitter DMs or comments <laughs> um, related to DevOps and the cloud native ecosystem. So here's the first question that I would like to answer, which is, is it important to know Docker before you start learning Kubernetes? That's basically the short form of the question that I received. <laughs> um, well, so when I got started in the DevOps space, I transitioned from a developer advocacy role in the blockchain space to a developer advocacy role in the DevOps space, meaning I could uh, build upon my programming skills, my developer advocacy skills, such as public speaking, technical writing, and similar. So I could transfer all of those generic developer advocacy skills into a new industry. However, I had to learn at the same time about CICD pipelines, platforms, uh, Docker, Kubernetes, uh, DevOps platforms, DevOps processes, um, QA testing and similar all at once, all at the same time. Now, if I could go back and decide my, on my own learning journey of what do I want to learn first before starting Kubernetes, I would definitely spend more time learning um, sys administration uh, tasks, such as how do I navigate uh, folders, <laughs> something as simple as that. Um, how do I debug processes uh, to how does a container work? How do I build a container from scratch and um, the life cycle of a container and so on? Knowing that having that more fundamental knowledge definitely will help you upon your Kubernetes cloud native learning journey. Now, this is just my personal opinion. It really depends on you, your learning journey. What I did, I was mainly focusing on Kubernetes. And then whenever I had any questions related to Docker, related to containers, I would either reach out to coworkers, community members, or just spend some time Googling it. And that was kind of my approach on learning Docker and Kubernetes at the same time. Now, there's still a lot that I don't know about containers <laughs> themselves and how they really work the nitty gritty details. So it's definitely a learning process and <laughs> it really depends on you and your approach to learning. Now, I hope this was useful. If it was, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for upcoming videos. I aim to publish a few of these every now and then. Have a lovely day. Bye bye.